Thank you for your kind introduction. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Takashi Kaneta. Uh, today, I would like to talk from the view of construction management. I belong to the Department of Architecture, but in Japan, Department of Architecture includes engineering as well as architect school. My background is construction engineering and management. I have been watching the behavior of Japanese construction industry and especially Japanese general contractors. How do you feel about Japanese construction industry? It may be old fashioned or conservative. It is local and it is not global. Uh, it is labor intensive industry. It is not, not in innovative. I agree with those opinions, but is it bad? Is it wrong? I don't think so. If we compare them with global big tech or GAFA, uh, Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon, we can find similarity among them. Many people think they are completely different, but today, in discussing happiness or well-being, I would like to show my analysis. Japanese construction market is so big, it is number three in the world, following the United States and China. Please uh, look at this picture. Uh, this picture shows about Japanese construction market and the construction investment was at the peak in fiscal year 1992, but it uh, decreased to about 410 billion US dollars in 2010. And now it is about 500 to 600 billion US dollars. It occupies about 16% of gross domestic product GDP of Japan. And the number of builders is about uh, 470,000 in 2015. It decreased by 22% uh, from 1919. Uh, there are many number of workers in construction industry. There were about 6 million people in 1997, but they shrinked uh, and now there are 5 million people in this industry. They are old people. Young people hesitate to come into the construction industry. The construction industry is chronically lack of human resources. Many foreign trainees are already accepted in Japan. About half of the construction investment is uh, from public sector. Uh, the government and the local authorities will increase the construction investment to support the construction industry and workers when the economy condition is bad. In Japan, many buildings and infrastructures are over 60 years old. There are frequent troubles and accidents in bridges, water pipelines, concrete walls, or highways. It is necessary to maintain and repair the regional infrastructure. In Japan, many disasters take place. First aid is required as soon as possible. In case of East Japan big earthquake in 2011, they provided emergency road at 6 p.m. on March 11th. At that day, as I mentioned, construction industry involves many workers. It is 5% of working age populations. It supports the economy of the local community. It also contributes to collaboration with other industries. For example, in the mountains, they will set up new supply chain along with forestry. Some workers are in agriculture as well as construction industry. 
Now, I would like to focus on Japanese general contractors. It is well known that there is a fixed hierarchy in Japanese construction industry. Japanese top five are called super general contractors or in Japanese, super zenekon. They're Takenaka, Kajima, Obayashi, Taisei, and Shimizu. They are typical Japanese companies. Their behavior is similar. Japanese general contractor will cling to clients for a long time, long term for sale. Japanese general contractors offer anything that clients want, even if it is beyond the contract. And Japanese contractors go gray area of antitrust law. How do you feel hearing that? Someone will feel it unpleasant. Someone may not understand the background because the cultural gap is too big. However, such business culture have been accepted in Japan. It has been normal in Japan and most of the people were happy. Next, I will talk in detail comparing with big tech. Japanese general contractors have close and long-term relationship with clients. It creates a relationship of trust beyond contracts. Clients can trade with general contractors without contract, even uh, if they are mutual trust. Uh, these are pictures of Kyoto University clock tower. Originally, it was built in 1925 by the contractors, including Shimizu. Then it was reformed and converted to the Memorial Conference facility in 2003 by the contractors, including Shimizu. Shimizu appeared for years. So this is an example of long-term relationship uh, among uh, general contractors and clients. The strengths of big tech is their sales force. They also cling to clients. Facebook suggests new friends and services for user. In Google search, options are shown based on the past research, the past search. And Amazon suggests more products and services related to items in my shopping cart. Japanese general contractors offer anything that clients want, even if it is beyond the contract. Total price and the completion date of the construction is fixed despite the risk. The price is promised in lump sum contract and uh, cost overrun is not permitted. So um, the general contractor must finish the construction work without delay. And the client has no risk about the construction works. We are promoting research and de development on cost management. For example, we can obtain detailed cost data from building information modeling. Uh, from building information model, uh, we can obtain detailed data of design. Then we can convert them into uh, cost data uh, in this worksheet. Work and this figure shows the uh, original design for uh, Olympic Games Stadium. Uh, Tokyo Olympic Games were held in this year. It was in severe condition, but the prime minister 
Mr. Suga kept the promise with International Olympic Community, uh, Committee to operate the Olympic Games. I feel something in common between the actions of Mr. Suga and the Japanese general contractors. It is not permitted to break a promise, even if the conditions and the environment have changed. Big tech also offer anything that clients want. There are competitions among the options offered by the suppliers. So we can choose the best thing, the cheapest one and the quickest one, and the item will be delivered to us without shipping charge. And Japanese general contractors often go gray area of antitrust law. These are pictures concerning the violation of antitrust law, obstruction of bidding, and culture often take place in Japanese construction industry. But I think big tech is um, innovative. Yes, really, it is innovative. But it is not always green. For example, Apple forced developer of application to obey App Store review guideline. It was not fair trade. So Japanese Fair Trade Commission instructed Apple Inc. to recover the condition. Amazon controlled the Amazon marketplace pricing. If it is true, it is not fair trade. Facebook has eaten the competitor Instagram into Facebook and Meta Group. It seems that Facebook makes monopoly market. The construction industry is closed in Japan, whereas big tech are open to global market. But uh, there are similarities in the essence of both entity. Many people believe that big tech is the top runner of innovation and big tech locates in the goal of well-being. But I don't agree with this opinion. Japanese construction industry is also essential for Japanese society. The construction industry should improve the efficiency of logistics and supply chain. It should eliminate multi-layered subcontracting relationships and intermediate explore, exploration. And it should save labor resource and accept excellent and skilled foreign workers. Thank you very much for your attention.